everyone today we're off to london for the night we're really excited and i'm just uh, doing this a bit of packing so i thought i'd start the vlog now um, i'm going to go and see jersey boys at uh, trafalgar theater and then my husband is going to be taking my daughter around the shops while i'm going to see that because um, we went to see them in um new york last year they was really good and i really wanted to see them again and i found out that they're actually finishing in uh, january so um i wanted to get in before they finish so i'm glad i've got tickets to see them and then my husband gonna be taking my daughter around the shops because she wants to go to some um there's like japanese shops and she wants to go to waterstones and get some books and things like that so i'm just doing a bit of packing so i just thought i'd um start the vlog now because um, i want to get off because it's going to take us about two and a half hours to get there basically so uh, i thought I'd just um i'm going to bring you along and uh, see what we get up to so i'll see you soon just got into um, central London it's took us like nearly three hours to get here with the traffic and everything so we're going to go and get a Nando's because we're all starving and then we're going to go and um, look around the shops later so um, I'll do some uh, that's why I haven't picked up the camera because we've just been stuck in traffic so there's nothing really to vlog so I'll, um, I'll pick up the camera later to London it's really madly busy so we're just going to do some shopping and um, just got, my daughter wants to go to the, um, the Disney shop so we're going to have a look for that but it's really busy as you can see we've actually had a nightmare journey coming so I'll have to explain what's gone on but we're stuck in traffic for about three and a half hours so we haven't actually got too long because me the, um, the theatre starts at half past seven so
We've just got to Chinatown, we're on the way to the theatre to um, see Jersey Boys and it's absolutely coming like rains, loads, and we've got an umbrella so we're just soaking. Just people everywhere. Craziness of London. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's right. Now we're not saying that this water stone is a big one, but just take a look. Huge.
think basically Duck World is just a very long straight line that way. Yeah, just keep going straight and we'll get there. This is nuts. Yeah. What's on at that theatre, Lucy? Lego store down here. Yeah, there is. There's two people down there with a giant Lego bag. But we've got nowhere to Lego. That won't stop Mum though, will it? The Hard Rock Cafe, got our magnet. Job done. Do it. There was three floors in New York. I think it's four floors. There's in New York, but every floor had exactly the same one. It was like it was a bit pointless having four floors of exactly the same. Well, yeah, maybe, but we just couldn't work out why. They've done like a Beatles mock up. They are in Liverpool, but the actual picture was taken in London. Smell the MM straight away, don't you? I feel like we have to buy something. This is what I needed in that car today. I just needed something else to sit on. How much are they? 22. How much? 22. Jesus Christ. But think about Disney prices. In a way, it's cheap. Just goes on and on and on. Loose, should we get mum? Oh, 
What do you think, babe? Do you think you'd like it? Do we dare buy it? What's the price? Thirty-two pound. Lose your feet. She'll kill us. Oh, loose. They're the ones I had from you from Florida, weren't they? Premium ducks. Hey. Rabbit duck. That's perfect for Easter. Have you seen the price? Thames. Yeah, that'd be a big Ben in the Houses of Parliament. If you can make that out. Try and zoom in for you. Bit of a crane in the way. So if we walked up there, we'd get to like Big Ben. decided to walk to the Houses of Parliament for Big Ben. I say we, meaning me, but Lucy has just been dragged along for the ride. And we're currently looking for London bunnies, but we've not seen any yet. Let's see how we get on. So 
this is where the wife will probably end up later when she kicks off with somebody over a chicken and mushroom pie. But hey ho. So we think we're at the place where it all happens in the UK. So, yeah, Big Ben seems to be telling the wrong time at the moment. That's probably because the clocks go back tonight. So whether they have to stop it and wait for 12 o'clock tonight. To start it again, we don't know. But when we get there, we'll show you. So we've got all the government buildings on this side. And then we've got the Houses of Parliament coming up in front of us. Some very bright lights. Just over there, we've got the uh, the London Eye and all the other stuff that goes on around here. We made it loose. The Houses of Parliament and Big Ben with the wrong time on the front. That's one impressive cocktail. How's that what? Donuts. Find the donuts, loose, find the donuts. That's a big church. You get a good view there. Big Ben. Police horses. For some reason, there's red police vans all around Downing Street, but who knows why. I don't think we can get very close to Downing Street this today though. I'm guessing that's to do with the protest that you've probably seen earlier in the video. There it is, Luke. You ain't getting in there very easy. Hey. Don't think so. God knows. This is all the cabinet office where all the uh, bad decisions are usually made. So we're guessing that is Nelson sat on top of his column here at Trafalgar Square where we stood waiting for the wife to finish seeing her show watching the chaos of London go by
Audrey Pug, the London edition. <laughs> across the West End raise as much money as we can for Acting for Others, a wonderful charity which helps a lot of artists, performers, directors, front of house members, writers in times of crisis. Over the years they have raised over millions of pounds to help those who need it most and that's what we're going to ask you to help out with today. Our wonderful front of house team will have buckets Buckets? <laughs> Our front of house team will have buckets They've got buckets, they've got QR codes. You can go online at www.actingforothers.co.uk. Let's raise as much money as we can for such a wonderful charity. Um, I know what you're all thinking. Is he? Isn't he? <laughs> yes, I am from Yorkshire. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Jersey Boys and it was really really good. Went to see it in um, New York but I, I think it's just as good to be honest and uh, I'm really glad that I got to go and see it for the last time. So yeah, I definitely recommend if you're into who Jersey Boys music and that to go and see it because it's brilliant. We've just got back from the shops so I've just thought I'd do you a quick haul of what we've got. We haven't got too much. The Disney shop had these um, teddies on offer. There was £25 reduced to 15 so we got Thumper and my daughter got um, a Pluto not focusing, a Pluto badge there you go and then we've got a badge from the Ardwark cafe because we collect those we've got one from New York and one from um, Palmer and we've got an Amberlynn rubber duck from Duck World which was how much was it did you say? Ten pound. And then we went to Waterstones and she's got two books. These cats, I don't know what they are, but I think they're like little notebook things. Um some Van Gogh notebooks. I think that's what oh and a um bookmark. That was from um Waterstones. Um, Japanese, what was that Japanese show? It was like Muso. She's got, um, there's five pound for these notebooks. Um, a little pencil case with two pens. Another notebook. She obviously likes the notebooks. I think that's it. Oh, and I got this pink Love Art box from um, Flying Tiger. That was four pound. So I'm going to put some jewellery, I think, in that. Then my husband collects these um, Starbucks mugs. So we've got the London one now. To... And I think that's it. Oh, and this, um, they don't just do normal carrier bags anymore in Disney. So you have to buy like, these novelty ones. So I think this was, was it 150 I think it was 150 So I've got the Christmas one, which is quite nice. So we didn't actually win the bag. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's it. So, we didn't spend too much. So. Um, we stayed at this travel lodge at Waterloo and it's really good location for um, the train station. It's about not even five minutes really. And then we can get onto the tube from there. And then this is this shop here, this food and wine shop. And it just basically, it sells everything. So if you want to get like any um, snacks or anything, it's got loads of drinks and all sorts. So yeah, it's a really good location. I'll definitely stay there again. Oh, I well, was just on the way home now, so I'm just going to show you the walk to the um, how close it is to the train station. It's like an old ambulance. 
this there. Outside there's like an old ambulance. I don't know if you can see it very well. Oh. Let's hope it's not as busy getting home yesterday. Because uh, yesterday it took us like hours to get here, so I'm hoping it's not going to take us as long. It was a horrible yesterday. I didn't think we'd ever get here. One's a big hotel, the Hamptons one. And Waterloo Station is just literally up there, just on the left, so it's a really good location. Look, the park in the um, there's a theatre not far, so that's where we parked, and it's £28 for 24 hours. Oh, it's not too far walk. This cake shop here is amazing. We had it yesterday and um, it's cold, obviously it's closed at the minute. They do um, free cakes, free slices of cake for like £12. Really, really nice. Definitely um, recommend it if you like cake. 